Good afternoon, this is Matt Roberge with Salt Lake City Bookkeeping. Today I'm going to do a QuickBooks video demonstration on a couple of QuickBooks efficiency tips. I just want to show you how to calculate directly in a field, drag the check mark in the reconciliation screen, give you a couple basic keyboard shortcuts, customizing the icon bar, as well as memorizing reports and transactions. If we switch over to our sample company here, uh, and you want to calculate in a field, simple one demo is on a check if you have uh, any vendor and let's say it's a hundred and twenty dollars and thirty two cents plus fifty six point two four you can automatically do the calculation right in QuickBooks rather than pulling up the calculator or your own 10 key on your desk uh, next thing I want to show you is how to drag the check mark in the reconciliation screen and this comes in really useful when you have a long check sequence um, you can sort by check number let's say check four through seven cleared Rather than check them all individually, you can just drag that check mark. So if you have 30 or 40 checks that cleared in a row, it's a real good uh, kind of tip to have in your arsenal. Uh, next thing is uh, recording or using uh, shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. Again, if we're back in the uh, check screen, rather than hit save and close, you can hit Alt A or Alt S for save and new. Um, other things you want to know are Control D will delete the transaction completely. And another one that I, w I would like to demonstrate is how to delete a line. And that I want to show you on a journal entry. Uh, if you just need to delete the line, highlight the line itself and hit Control Delete and that will get rid of the line. Um, next thing I'd like to show you is customizing the icon bar. And if you come up here and just right click on the icon bar, you can customize it by hitting add and going through the prefab list here, adding whatever you use quite a bit. If a command's not on there, like jour make journal entries, you can still add it by going to company, make general journal entries. And if you come under view, there's an option to add it to the uh, icon bar. So even if it's not on that list, you still may be able to get it to your icon bar for quick uh, access. And the last thing is just memorizing reports and transactions. If you get pretty deep into customizing a profit and loss, for instance, and you're into percentages or row or income, and you really like it and you're going to use it a lot, just memorize that and save it under you know a memorized list that means something to you, whether it's owner or your name, so that they're real easy to get to. Um, you can have a whole batch of them, and it, it just makes it a lot easier than having to customize that report over and over. And the last thing is just memorize transactions. Um, you, you can have them automatically enter for recurring things like bills or if you send out the same invoices every month or maybe it's a journal entry. Um, you can tell QuickBooks you'd like to automate it on a monthly basis, next date being whatever you want it and number remaining and number of days in advance. Works really well for things that recur month after month. Um, quick way to get them in there. So. Again, just a couple of tips there um, for you on staying efficient in QuickBooks. If you have any questions on anything QuickBooks or bookkeeping related, feel free to reach out. Have a good one.